Farming video of me being beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Hello to my subscribers. This is the TF Fangy coming to you with a, a review of possibly the last exclusive Transformers figure to be released in the Transformers War of Cybertron Trilogy Kingdom line. We have Deluxe Class Red Alert. Uh, Red Alert was released exclusively at Walgreens Pharmacy Store. Wars for the Kingdom line. Uh, Red Alert was originally supposed to be released uh, last year, sometime between October and November, but it wasn't until the last week of January area of the current year 2022 that he uh, finally appeared on Walgreens' website in abundance. I actually got my copy of Red Alert off of eBay, eBay at a very decent price. And yes, in my opinion, uh, even though he's a very hard to find exclusive, I do do think Red Alert is a worthwhile figure to have. And just like his G, his G1 version and also the uh, War for Cybertron Siege version that was released in 2019, Red Alert is a repaint with a uh, slightly di with a slightly different uh, uh, different uh, re uh, mold changes uh, of uh, Kingdom Sideswipe, which was released in a two pack like on Amazon. And yeah, I'm really happy to have an Earth Mode version of Red Alert in my Transformers collection. Action. So here on the front of the box, we've got Red Alert in his vehicle mo mode of a Lamborg Lamborghini Countach that's been modified into a uh, Fire Chief Chief's car. Here he is in his robot mo mode. We've got some nice artwork, artwork of Red Alert. We've got the art crashed up there on there on top. Up and uh, overall, I really enjoyed the design of Red Alert's artwork. Here on the top of the box, Red Alert is an Autobot, and Red Alert is the officially the 38th Transformers figure to be released in the War of Cybertron trilogy line. And some of the Transformers Kingdom figures I reviewed earlier, they have uh, numbers in the line that are higher than that. And so it just goes to show that Red Alert was supposed to be released sometime last year when the Kingdom line was in full swing, but regardless of how late he arrived, I'm glad that Red Alert is finally here. This side of the box, you've got the artwork for the Kingdom line. On the bottom of the box, you've got the barcode and some uh, product disclaimers here. And right up here on top of the barcode, um, normally there would be uh, uh, the letters ASST, which means an assorted case. So Red Alert is not in, a, in an assorted case. He is by himself. So that's what that little white number next to the barcode means. And here on the back of the box, you've got Red Alert in his robot mode and his vehicle mode. Lamborghini Countach that's been modified into a into a Fire Chief's car. He transforms back and forth between both modes in 17 steps. Now this is just a minor nitpick with that I'm OCD on with uh, Red Alert, but if you pay really close attention to the artwork on the front of Red Alert's box, right here between his tires and the artwork, it shows that Red Alert has the same red striping that was used on his Siege. Deluxe class figure, yet here on the actual final product of Kingdom Red Alert, the red striping at the bottom side of his vehicle mode is gone. And in fact, the only red parts that Red Alert has, the only bits of red paint that Red Alert actually has in his vehicle mode are the red on his hood and the red sirens on the light bar that's on the roof. And I made this observation months ago when Red Alert first was first, first revealed that if you were to swap out the red paint on Red Alert's hood, then he could easily be the last of the Lamborghini Autobots to have been, uh, to still has not yet been given a deluxe class figure, which is clamped down. Now the character based on the police car version of the Diaclone version of Red Alert. Um, it was it was announced sometime last year that Clamped Down might be getting a deluxe figure in the Generation Selects line. Whether or not that's true, who uh, we all Ooh, there are I told for those who don't know there are a total of eight Autobots who transform into Lamborghinis and we've gotten seven figures of them throughout the run of the Transformers War for Cybertron trilogy trilogy and yes um, I debated with myself if I would actually get a second copy of Red Alert and custom painted into Clamp Amped on or not but since it's rumored that we're getting an official figure I'm going to wait and see and yes that's pretty much it yeah there really isn't much else to say a while Red Alert is inside the box, so without further delay, we will get him released and take a close look at him in robot mode. Alright, and here is Kingdom Earth Mode Red Alert out of his bo box in his robot mode, and I gotta say, I am really impressed with how Red Alert turned out. 
has a lot more red paint in his robot mode that he does in vehicle mode, but... Oh, but I can easily overlook that due to how incredible he is. After owning the Siege version of Red Alert since 2019 and the Kingdom version of Sideswipe since... Uh, I think July of last year is when Kingdom Sideswipe was released, so having owned, owned those two oh, figures, I am really thrilled to have Kingdom Red Alert or it finally in hand. And, and I love the fact that he has the same uh, head sculpt that was used on the Siege version of Red Alert where he has uh, smaller ears than uh, Sideswipe does. And I love the fact that they gave him the cartoon accurate uh, red helmet, helmet instead of the black helmet that his original G1 figure had. So yeah, I'm really thrilled to see that. Uh, yeah. And so, again, uh, and uh, most of Red Alert's uh, paint detailing Ailing, uh, it's very, it's surprisingly very minimal. Uh, most of Red Alert is actually a plastic instead of paint. Uh, he does have some paint, uh, for instance, here at the base of his ankles on his front leg panels. That's white paint where it's gray plastic here, same as the foot. And again, here on his robot mode sculpt, he's got his Autobot logo and he's got the uh, truck D with the fire department shield on, shield on there. So he has a fire chief's car. And uh, in addition to having a different head, Different sculpted head, where the only difference between him and Sideswipe are different shaped ears. Uh, here's a Red Alert because he turns into a Fire Chief's car. He does have the light bar siren on, siren on top of his roof. But yeah, that's pretty fantastic looking. And one thing that Red Alert has that the Kingdom Sideswipe version does not is that all of the uh, exhaust vent ends for the engine section of his Lamborghini vehicle mode, which end up at the uh, back of his legs. They're all painted black, so that's. Uh, Really nice detailing that was given to the Kingdom version of Red Alert. But yeah, articulation's the same as the other uh, War vs. Cybertron Trilogy Lamborghini Autobots, so I won't be going into too much detail on that. But yeah, overall, I just enjoy how Red Alert turned out. Alert turned out, and I really excited. I had to find, again, finally have him in my, my uh, Transformers collection. Alright, sorry for that pause in the video, but I had to go grab something that I almost forgot to do. Uh, bring out. <clears throat> so for some quick size comparisons in robot mode, here is Kingdom Red Alert next to from 2019. Here is the Siege version of Red Alert. And as you can tell, the Kingdom version of Red Alert uses a much brighter shade of red than what's used on the Siege version. And again, the uh, paint similarities are... There's just as many similarities as there are differences is between these figures. Figures. Uh, some of the primary retooling was in the uh, actual lay egg designs, and also the uh, robot mode chest, and of course the backpack. Uh, from what I can tell, looking at them side by side, the arms, the robot mode arms, and the upper halves of the legs, the thighs, and the shin guards are all, all the same skull. All detailing. Uh, my copy of Siege Red Alert has very loose knees, but on the Kingdom Red Alert, fresh out of the box, the knees do seem to be pretty solid looking and again uh, one thing that at the kingdom red version of red alert has that the siege version does not is that red alert comes with the same uh, shoulder cannon that was used to that was given to side swipe so in terms of accessory pieces the kingdom version of red alert has the most accessory pieces out of all of the other lamborghini autobots so that's arguably one reason why he's an exclusive exclusive uh, the more weapons you have the more uh Chances are you are being exclusive, which is complete nonsense. Nonsense, because if that was true, then the Studio Series 86 Hot Rod figure would have been an exclusive instead of a mass retail release. But yeah, uh, again, these red app paint apps on that Siege Red Alert has on the legs, this end, ends up being in vehicle mode. Oh, but, um, I would have preferred if they had done... Um, because if you, It's hard to tell because of its white light there, but like this part of the leg, if they had done that red and if uh the siege version of red alert had some more paint apps in red had some more red paint apps in his vehicle mode i think it would make it look more like red alert instead of looking like it's trying to be uh the last lamborghini autobot to be released which is clamped down but yeah overall uh pretty great seeing these guys side by side with each other for a size comparison with another with some other Transformers figures. Here is Red Alert next to the figure that he is repainted and retooled from, which is Kingdom Sideswipe. Again, you can give uh, 
you can mount Red Alert's uh, shoulder cannon on the same shoulder as Sideswipe. I do it on opposite shoulders to differentiate them. But yeah, they come with the exact same accessory pieces and pieces and Red Alert, of course, has the light bar siren. Sideswipe does not. And they're trying to get them as close to each other as possible. There's the uh, two different head sculpts. It's a little hard to tell. Uh, looking at you know, with my camera on it, but uh, the only act, the only difference in the head sculpt design is the uh, size of the ears. Uh, or side swipe has the uh, more pointed horn horns on him, whereas uh, Red Alert has the shorter, stumpier horns on the top of his head. But yeah, that's pretty much the only difference in the head sculpts. The faces are the same, the shapes of the chins and the and the side vent and and on um, the front and sections of their helmets are the exact same. And looking at the Kingdom version of Red Alert, I think his helmet is actually a red paint, paint on top of a black plastic. It's not like it was on the Siege version of Red Alert where it was red plastic, but that could just be my eyes playing tricks on me, but overall, well, I am just thrilled to finally see uh, Red Alert and Sideswipe standing next to each other, and Hopefully I can hold all three of them at once, but just a one last quick size comparison. Here is uh, Kingdom Red Alert next to uh, Earthrise Sunstreaker. So here are all three of the uh, Earth Mode uh, Lamborghini Autobots uh, standing side by side with each other. So yeah, I'm pretty excited to finally complete the trio of Earth Mode Lamborghinis. And for one last size comparison in Robot Mode, here is Kingdom Red Alert next to his partner, Kingdom Inferno. So here we have the two uh, members of the Autobot Fire Department, Armin, all geared up and ready to lead the charge against the Decepticons and put and douse any fiery destruction that they they leave behind. But yeah, it's great to see Red Alert standing next to Kingdom Inferno in an Earth Earth style the vehicle mode mode at last. Last and yes, uh, I just keep going on and on on like a broken record, but I just can't get over how fantastic Red Alert is, and I'm really excited to finally have him. Have him. Uh, Red Alert has been proven to be one of the most difficult to find of the uh, Walgreens exclusive Transformers figures, figures out there, but yeah, I'm just, so I'm just beyond thrilled to finally have him. So now that we've doted on Red Alert in his robot mode, we will get him transformed into his vehicle mode, we'll see what he looks like next to the other Transformers characters, and we will wrap up the review, you and I will share my final thought on this latest version of Red Alert. Alright, and so here is Kingdom Red Alert transformed into his vehicle mode of an Earth style Isled Lamborghini. Eenie. And unfortunately, on my copy of Red Alert, there is uh, one slight mold degradation where the uh, his two robot mode legs don't really want to clamp together as securely, definitely not as securely as Kingdom Sideswipe. Right, so but that's uh, one minor gripe with my copy of Red Alert. I don't know if anyone else has come across that issue of mold degradation. But yeah, over and all, uh, again, with the exception of the lack of red paint, I personally enjoy how Red Alert turned out. out uh, moving his laser gun and taking a close look at him here on the side. Again, and uh, if you know oh, the character I'm talking about of Clampdown, if you just take the uh, red paint off of Red Kingdom Red Alert's hood and make it black, then you've got a police car and you've got the uh, Lamborghini Autobot character clamped down. Yeah. But yeah, overall, I do enjoy how Red Alert turned out. I do enjoy that all of the uh, vents here on the back of him have been painted black. That's a detailing that I don't think any other version of, version of the Lamborghini, any of the other Lamborghinis have been given. I think maybe Cordon and Spin Out might have got uh, since they were released as exclusives in the Generation Selects line. But yeah, overall, I do enjoy Red Alert. But again, I mean, but again, that QC issue of his legs not wanting to stay clamped amp together, I hope that it's something that if I transform Red Alert a couple more times that it'll uh, fall into place more properly. But yeah, there is Red Alert with his weapons attached, and again, he does come with both laser guns, just like the Kingdom version of Sideswipe, the Siege version of... And again, uh, the Siege version of Red Alert didn't have the shoulder cannon, and that's one thing a lot of collectors were hoping that uh, the Siege version of Red Alert would have been given back when it was released in 2019. But yeah, here on in vehicle mode, the Siege version of Red Alert has a lot more 
red paint apps than the Kingdom version of Red Alert. In my opinion, it makes the Siege version of Red Alert look more successfully like a Fire Chief's car than, or than it does in the Kingdom version of Red Alert. And then there's the different designs on the uh, hood section. Make sure you've got the uh, Earth style Fire Chief's logo, and you've got the Planet Cybertron Fire Chief's logo, where the Autobot logo is actually inside the Fire Shield. You know, and from what I can tell, it, you know, the, both the Kingdom and Siege versions of Red Alert do come with the exact same uh, light bar siren on the roof. The only difference is that Kingdom Red Alert, again, it's a slightly brighter shade of red than the Siege version. But then that's also true for the shades of paint. And, and yeah, overall, oh, I do enjoy how the Kingdom version of Red Alert came out. Red Alert came out. Out, and I just overall enjoy the uh, design of the kingdom, uh, uh, side swipe and side swipe mold. How this uh, more Earth-looking Lamborghini it does look a lot more like a Earth-style Lamborghini compared to the Siege version. Version, and yes, uh, I do do enjoy uh, seeing the differences between the Siege and the uh, Kingdom Earth mode versions of Red Alert. So for another size comparison, here is Kingdom Red Alert again with Kingdom side swipe. Again, I just like to place the laser guns on opposite sites to further distinguish them from each other. Uh, looking here on the windshield, field, they do have the same uh, sculpted detailing there on the inside. I had a uh, red alert, uh, but uh, now that I'm actually looking at it, uh, even though it is the same sculpted detailing, uh, the Kingdom version of Sideswipe behind the windshield, which is clear blue plastic, he has, the plastic on the inside has been painted silver, but on Kingdom Red Alert, it's a it's a smoky gray uh, black pla or clear black plastic as they used for the windshield but underneath the scope detailing is not painted it's unpainted a uh, white plastic there on the inside All right, so that's why uh, side swipes uh, the scope detailing under the windshield is a lot more prominent than it is on kingdom red alert it swipes is another nice way to further distinguish them from each other again as you can see here uh, all of red alerts uh, the exhaust vents for the uh, engine Engine block uh, are painted black, whereas on C on the Kingdom Earth mode version of Sideswipe, it's unpaint, it's unpainted. And uh, looking at these two figures side by side, I, I honestly cannot tell which one on uh, looks be on is uh, better than the other one. I believe they're equal because as uh, they both have the same amount of paint apps, rough paint apps roughly used on each other. And yes, I just uh, enjoy finally having an earth mode version of red alert to go to stand besides kingdom side swipe and swipe and just to have all of the earth mode uh, lamborghinis that were appeared in the generation one cartoon series here is uh also earth race sunstreaker next to kingdom side side swipe and red alert and for one last vehicle mode size comparison here is red alert again next to his partner inferno so here is the autobot fire department 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 in their vehicle modes Modes. Even though this fire truck is a little bigger compared to uh, the Lamborghini, if you wanted them to be size accurate, it would roughly have to be, uh, I'd say, that size right there. It would be a decent size comparison compared to the actual size. But yeah, I just enjoy having an Earth mode version of Red Alert, or to stand besides Inferno. Uh, and yes, overall, uh, despite my own, uh, own nitpick with the lack of red paint in the vehicle mode, I do enjoy how red alert came out out and i enjoy the fact that just like his g1 an action figure and also the siege figure figure the kingdom earth mode red alert is a fantastic repaint and slight retool of sideswipe so do i recommend getting kingdom red alert and adding it to your transformers collection absolutely i do you cannot go wrong having the kingdom Ber kingdom earth mode version of red alert even if you already have the siege ver version and yeah, just overall, I'll, uh, I am very disappointed that this figure was released as a Walgreens exclusive because it is a pretty incredible a Transformers action figure. A lot of Transformers fans and collectors, collectors when it was announced that Sideswipe was going to be released in a two-pack and Red Alert was going to be released on his own, a lot of Transformers fans and collectors initially thought that Red Alert might be the more easy-to-find version of the Kingdom uh, Earth Mode Lamborghini any uh any of this that red alert would be the easier to find version of this mold but old but uh 
last time I checked, Amazon still has the Kingdom the two the Kingdom two pack that Sideswipe comes in still available at retail price. So Sideswipe has surprised despite being sold in a two pack, he's been much more easier to find find than Kingdom Red Alert has been. And but hopefully in the coming month, once that will no longer be an issue. And I hope that those who have not yet gotten a hold of Kingdom Red Alert, I hope that you will be able to find him. Uh, some peop some collectors have found Red Alert actually inside Walgreens pharmacy stores rather than just uh, ordering it off of their website or off of and other websites. It's BS. Yes, overall, I cannot uh, recommend getting Kingdom Red Alert any further. He's a fantastic fig fantastic figure, and as I said at the beginning of the video, to my knowledge, uh, Red Alert is the last exclusive Transformers action figure that's being released in the Transformers Kingdom line. And so I wish everyone luck on like finding him because as he is a uh, one he's uh, easily one of the uh, uh, better exclusives that's been released in the Transformers Kingdom line overall. So thank you to all my subscribers for your continued support, Lord, and remember to stay safe and stay healthy. I hope to get forward to doing more reviews soon. Soon, and until next time, I'm you guys, Transformer Rollout. Goodbye, everyone. Da -da 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 -da.